Well, congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, you guys get the joy of having a unique experience. I always say match day is one of the great days uh, of your training, and now you get to have a match day in the middle of a global pandemic. So uh, we appreciate the fact that um, we're following our, our own guidelines and then actually national guidelines to not congregate large groups. And unfortunately, that means we're going to have to do a virtual match day. So thank you for working with us on this. It's not ideal, but it's uh, what we have to do considering uh, we're in the health professions. And it's, it's kind of amazing. You, you will never forget this experience. Um, you are entering a health professional world just at a time when the world needs health professionals. And so uh, there can be no better uh, time for you to be entering uh, for the next step in your careers. Now, Match Day is really important, and I like to remind everyone that it is called Match Day for a reason. It's not, it's not considered uh, Selection Day, it's Match Day. And what that means is there is a, an organization, another uh, institution that is really excited about matching with you. And people sometimes say, I have a first, a second, a third choice. That, you should not be thinking of it that way. When you match, you're matching in an institution that has you the highest that they can possibly get. They want you, they're excited. When they open up their match list, they will be thrilled that you as a Baylor College of Medicine graduate are going to their programs. And so your story should always be, I matched at the perfect place. When I, when I had my match day, I didn't actually get my top choice, uh, my first match choice, but the fact of the matter is, I matched at the best place for me. Uh, and that was responsible for the rest of my career. I had uh, my choice of specialty, my academic career has all been because I, I matched at the institution that really, really wanted me. So the match is important, but it's more important that it is a place that really wants you uh, in their program. Now when you go there, what you're going to discover is that you are really, really well trained. Uh, you've had experiences at all of our affiliated hospitals that are really second to none. You're going to be excellent where you are, and you should remember that when you're there, you represent the Baylor College of Medicine. All of our values, uh, our, our, our willingness to strive for excellence, our, our, our importance around integrity and collaborative work. And so when you're there, be all that you are as a Baylor graduate. So we're really, really proud of you. Uh, we want you to excel there. And for those of you who are leaving us, uh, remember, we'll always want you back. And for those of you who are staying, we hope to have you in our system for as long as we can. So congratulations and good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful match. Greetings and a hearty congratulations to the MD class of 2020 of the Baylor College of Medicine. Woohoo! I am so excited to have this opportunity to offer words of celebration and encouragement for you. You have just reached an important milestone in your professional development and in your education as a physician. You have been given the privilege and the opportunity to pursue a career in medicine. In addition to that privilege, you also have been called to service. And there are times in our history when that call to service is never more clear than when we are in the midst of a global pandemic. Please know that this is an opportunity for you as you transition, not only to take your place as important contributors and leaders in medicine, but please know that you have been well prepared, not only to serve, but to lead, to provide comfort and care, and that as you leave Baylor College of Medicine, know that you will always be part of the Baylor family, and that as you demonstrate your professionalism and your pursuit of excellence, you indeed will bring honor on all of us who are part of your education. So greetings and best wishes. Thank you.
Well, good morning, fourth year class. I am so sorry that we cannot be all in person like usual to celebrate this, but we certainly want you to know that we are so incredibly proud of you. Uh, we know that you have been trained so excellently here in the Texas Medical Center, and we are so excited to see where you all are going, what your futures are gonna be like. Just remember that wherever you end up, that is where you are supposed to be. They wanted you to be there, so don't have any worries. If you didn't get that number one choice, it's okay. That's where you're supposed to be. Really excited to see you. We are gonna see each other again, so don't worry. So have fun, be safe, wash your hands, and uh, congratulations to all of you. Good morning, students. Happy Match Day. I wish we could be together at Baylor, watching you guys open those envelopes and uh, being able to experience the joy uh, as a community, but obviously COVID-19 has made that an impossibility. Um, I want to express my regret in not being there to see you guys uh, and meet your families and say kind of that big last goodbye in a more meaningful way than even graduation would be. But given the circumstances, I'm glad at least I get to send you this message. It's been a real honor working on your behalf, getting you to where you are right now, which is uh, poised to find out where you're going to spend the next few years of your lives. You guys should be proud of everything you've done. We're certainly really, really proud of you guys. And I hope you uh, take what you learned here and uh, make yourselves proud, your families proud, your communities proud, and of course, Baylor College of Medicine proud. My tradition on Match Day, ever since I became uh, Associate Dean of Student Affairs, is to share a poem uh, with you, with the graduating class uh, going through the match. And this year shouldn't be any different. So some of you have been to Match Day before. Some of the lines are, are similar, but I always tweak it change it a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, read that poem for you. And let's imagine that we're in that courtyard, sitting there with uh, your families and with the faculty and mentors and students and everybody else who's here to cheer you guys on. Uh, so um, with that visual image in mind, uh, I'm going to go for it. Although COVID may prevent a graduation parade, regardless, from a short code, you'll soon upgrade. The letters MD will soon follow your name. Thrilled you will be your spot in the trenches to claim. Yet this experience of intense jubilation will inevitably be followed by deep trepidation when you're called doctor on your first residency day. Don't let panic set in. You won't have to pray for that patient before you who is really quite ill. You'll recall the right procedure and the proper pill. And you'll also administer to all whom you treat, whether they live in a mansion or on the mean street. Compassion and caring, so capacious, so vast. Your powers as a healer, for their benefit you'll cast. Further prognostication will just have to wait for that message in your inbox to communicate your fate, informing you of your residency lot, the city, the program, where a career you will plot. But for all the mentors your future will hold, for all the futures that envelope won't have foretold, please, dear students, remember us here. We're truly excited you'll soon be our peer. That envelope you'll now open, as it were, is an invitation to learn whether it's your first choice or one you'd rather spurn. Remember the teachers waiting for you there, the patients who will need your devotion and care. So regardless of the name, you soon will see a physician of skill, a Baylor alum you will be. Uh, please share any social media uh, postings with us and we wanna see you guys uh, experience virtually the, the, the joy that you're experiencing surrounded by your family and friends. Cheers. Take care, and again, we're really, really so proud of you guys. Match day, what an incredible day. Uh, usually it's very relaxing, calm, low stress, and no one really seems to worry about it. Um, and over the past couple of weeks, it's been exactly that feeling, you know, low stress, calm, and no one's worried about anything. Uh, but in all seriousness, among all the chaos that's been going on, uh, this day really is our day, and I think it should definitely be celebrated. Um, this day really began when we all decided to go into medicine. For some of us, that was very early on, and for others, it was after a long time of, you know, maybe going into other careers or delving into other interests. But regardless of when we decided on this path, our dedication and our passion into this work has been insurmountable. Throughout the process, we may, may have even felt trapped, but we have persevered. All of us have dedicated our time and work into research, volunteering, education, 
and extracurricular activities that pushed us forward towards our dreams. And then came medical school, where we all became the close-knit community we are today, bound by this collective and unique experience that is medical education, united by the unique and unforeseen circumstances that happened with our class. Our class of 2020 that has experienced many unique things, such as Hurricane Harvey and this coronavirus worldwide pandemic. Our class has gone through the typical rigor of medical school in addition to all of these circumstances that made our experience unique. This typical rigor included rotating on clinics, operating rooms, and labor decks. It includes teaching, volunteering, and conducting research. And in addition to all of these activities, we have poured hours into studying and into examinations. Through all these experiences, Baylor has provided an amazing education. And using the resources that Baylor has provided, all of us have decided on which specialties and areas of medicine to go into. And we poured that same work and dedication that we do into everything into going into those fields of medicine. We applied for our way rotations. We specify what areas of research we want to go into and we apply broadly to different residency programs within the areas of medicine that we would like to pursue. And today is the day that we find out the results of all of that hard work. We have worked so hard to get to this point and that should absolutely not go unnoticed. Armed with our great education from Baylor and the resources that we have used at our disposal to get to this point, we are ready for anything. And based on all the unique experiences, we are even more ready than we were before. Thank you so much, Baylor College of Medicine, Class of 2020, and congratulations. Today is our day.